This is Weird Creepy Asian Lift Land and it's lift surfing time. So then, how would you describe these lifts? They are so different to any else I've ever seen. They are so odd. Some features of these lifts really remind me of Mitsubishi, but when I lost in a video here saying Mitsubishi with a question mark, most people went, no, that's not Mitsubishi. Some people thought they were Fuji Tech, some people thought they were Hyundai, and some people thought they were Asian generics. So it's quite a mystery what lifts these are, and they're quite creepy, especially the chimes are a bit creepy. <laughs> These lifts have full intelligent levelling and the intelligent levelling is absolutely perfect. There's no change in the rate of deacceleration through the entire slowdown, meaning it's perfect intelligent levelling and this intelligent levelling is ever so smooth and really makes me think Mitsubishi. But Fujitech seems to use the exact same intelligent levelling as Mitsubishi does and it really seems like Fujitech and Mitsubishi had some sort of correlation because they seem ever so similar in their logics. I don't know anything about Hyundai lifts and I don't know anything about Asian generics so yeah these lifts are quite odd. These lifts are some 1960s Otis that were modernised by his Asian lift company in the 2000s. A year ago these lifts have had their buttons replaced so let's take a look at what these lifts look like before the buttons were replaced. What floors these lifts go to is actually quite confusing especially before the refurbishment because the buttons really didn't make much sense. So let's take a look at what floors these lifts go to. It's a set of four lifts. The lowest floor is floor minus three but only two of the four lifts actually go lower than the ground floor and all floors lower than the ground floor are locked. Then minus two, minus one, then our office floor, floor CF. Why is it called floor CF and also the button for this floor is actually labelled minus two in before the buttons are replaced so that doesn't make any sense at all. One of the two lifts then stops at a floor called loading bait which opens on the rear set of doors and on the two lifts that actually have a rear set of doors on both of them the rear set of doors is completely jammed and the moat is completely rusted and that rear set of doors has not opened for a very long time. Above this is the ground floor. All four lifts stop at the ground floor continuing up and next floor up only one of the lifts stops at floor F. F for fire level because it's like a fire exit staircase that goes round to a little turn in the staircase like one meter above the ground floor and the lift stops there for some weird reason and the lift that stops at floor F is a different lift to a lift that stops at loading bay. This means that there's no one lift that stops at all floors. The next floor up is mezzanine which is locked because it's a service area. Then above that is all of the main floors 1 up to 11 for this building. Then another really weird feature about its logic is you can cancel calls by double pressing the button. That is so weird. Oh man that is so cool you can cancel our floor. And let's get on top of these lifts. The lift I go on top of is the lift that stops at floor F, the fire floor. Even though both the lift that stops at floor F and the lift that stops at floor loading bay both have rear sets of doors, only a lift that stops at floor F has doors on the rear side on every single floor. But the inner doors on the rear side have never been opened in a very long time, are rusted shut, and the outer doors are very, very rusty as well. And let's get on top of this lift and what a fucking awful state this lift is in. On the inside of the lift, they actually look really nice, but on top, fucking hell, this is awful. This is the worst lift I've ever been on top of that is not abandoned. This is the most dangerous lift ever. Look at this, this lift Oh is... my god, look, there's actually liquid. Look at that motor. 
this lift is in such bad condition. Especially since this is in a posh building and the lifts are in use all the time and they look this bad. And the entire car top is covered in oil. I almost slipped and fell down the side of the lift. This is so dangerous. There's layers of dust everywhere and the whole thing looks so not cared for. And the inspection control, oh, how could this lift be in service when it's this bad? I don't know what it is this all oil? Why does it come from? Look at all this oil and stuff. So the engineers are going to come in and check it with. Look at all this. Look at all this. Have you watched it? Have you watched it? Yes, it was in I've never seen left anything like this. Is that clean? It was a fine clean one. It's ground. I don't know. I don't know where that one is. I don't know. A secret floor. That's ground, I think. Is that ground? That's the same one. That's, that's F. That's oh yeah, because F's a little slightly higher, like half a metre higher than ground. And this is basement one. There's some people there, but luckily I don't think they saw that. That was clay. And now we go along to a little tiny lift. There's a little tiny sort of bit of this building. It's so small, you'd never think you get a lift in. But they have put a lift in. And this lift doesn't even go down to a ground floor. It only serves a couple of upper floors in the building. What a weird little lift. And the lift is completely shit. <laughs> And now we go along to the service lift. This lift has not had its buttons replaced. This lift stops at ground floor, service level, mezzanine, then all of the regular floors of the building.
We now go along to mezzanine, which is a creepy service level. This floor looks very creepy and on this floor we managed to find a gated lift. This gated lift goes from mezzanine ground floor which it no longer stops at because the doors have been rusted shut and the and the button has been disconnected then loading bay level and it's only because we got in this lift i was able to find out one of the four main lifts actually serves loading bay because i saw the doors there even though that lift hasn't actually stopped here for a very long time okay. Uh, look at that. Uh, Wait, let me stop it. Let me stop it. Wait. Yeah, look at that leveling. That's a pro right there. And amazingly, we've actually got the key for this. So I didn't recognise what key switch it is, but Jordan actually had the key for this lift, which is just a real good stroke of luck. So let's now go down to the secret floors and see what's down there. Here we go. I'm really stuck in the armor. Mind is free, don't play. Okay. Oh, there's a lift here. Oh, there's a lift here. Maybe it might just blow my head. So then, down we go to floor LB and lift stops and starts up again. It just bypassed that, didn't it? Did you see it? Because LB only opens on the stairwell side of yeah, the lift and so that doesn't open and it stops and starts up again. Floor CF, which is minus three bunk, refused to light up so we weren't able to go to this floor. If I let it shut my shut up, yeah. Oh, it's not just, someone would just come in there. And down we go to minus three. And now we've rather stupidly got out on minus three. I don't know why we did that because we're now trapped down here because you can't call the lifts down here. We actually almost did get properly trapped. There's like a conference centre here which we couldn't get into because it needs to clap. There was a push bar to open door which says alarm door. So go through this door and luckily it is not alarmed. So then now we can go down these stairs further from minus three down to the lower car park levels which is actually below which is effectively floors minus four and minus five. And along we go to the car park lift. Now this lift in regular service is only meant to go to the car park levels. So lower car park in other words minus five upper car park and upwards minus four non-stop up to the ground floor and in this lift it's got custom key switches for floors minus three minus two minus one which we don't have the key for but we were able to get to these floors by putting it into independent service then taking it out of independent service making a lift stop at the nearest floor so let's see what is on these secret floors that a lift is not meant to stop at so here is minus three right it's going to level Secret park. Make sure there's a car on the outside. Spooky! Very glad we didn't actually get attempt to let a lift close behind us on this floor because these two doors are locked. There's no way of calling a lift back. So we got here, let the door shut behind us, we'd be trapped. Seven up to minus two. To minus two, well, there's a load of crap in front of the lift. I certainly did not think the lift would be stopping here. And up we go to minus one. Look at this. Trying to secure them up, but not secure them up. 
one, minus one. Where is this big board blocking lift and it leads into an office? But luckily I didn't have the doors. I don't know. I don't know. Thank <laughs> you.